it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm going to use a tool I don't ever get to use because it's a transparency tool, and I'm a laser engraver. So we're going to do this, and we're going to fill in that shape with red. We're going to nudge it over because I want that shape. Then we can nudge this back. And let's get the transparency tool. It's right here below your drop shadow. And you can go from any direction with it. And I kind of want it. And then you can move this light bar and make it wider. That's pretty good. Now, watch what happens when I control D and make a duplicate. The whole thing got a little bit redder. Let's move our center rotation in the center. It doesn't look like it is, but it is. And let's rotate it 20 degrees. I mean, look at that. Because of the fact that it's, now I'm going 40, because it's transparent, the colors kind of show through on each one. And it even gives you a little, and now laser engravers don't get to use this, but as a, You know, a printer, you could do all kinds of things with this. Let's tell you what, let's try this. Let's make a duplicate of that and then mirror it sideways. Whoop, I guess we have to mirror it. Doesn't really work too well. We could always go back with the transparency tool and make that half wider and then move this block out. That's a pretty cool effect. Let's see. And I'm, I always like to stretch the limit. Let's take that circle, holding down the shift key, and let it grow. Look at the transparency of the light circle against the dark circle. And you could, you know, you could flip that around or just delete it, and so on and so on. There's a lot you could do with this if you were a printer. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.